Mr. Sylvester, you and the defendant worked together. Yes, Your Honor. Where did you work? We worked at Kazuki Ramen. It's a uh, ramen house, a restaurant. How long had you been working there? Uh, we both worked there for about five months. I was there in the opening, so was he. So we opened the restaurant together, basically. Training. Did you know each other before you opened the restaurant? No, Your Honor. And there came a time when you decided to room together. Was that a permanent arrangement for you or a temporary arrangement for you? Definitely temporary. It was kind of more of a, a personal favor. The apartment was far away from downtown, and at the time I wasn't driving, so he pretty much just asked me, could you please, because we went and saw the place together, the landlord liked me, they're like, could you please just move in for a couple of months until you find another arrangement, which I did allow, but I didn't want to be on the lease, and I wanted to pay less than him, because I knew I wouldn't be there as frequently. Were you on the lease? No. Only you were on the lease? That's correct. Okay. Did you put down security deposit? Yes. How much? Uh, $350. And you moved out after a couple of months? Just one month, really. Two months. I thought it was two months. Two months. Did you give him his security deposit back? I returned $250 of his security deposit back. And Why? With, uh, I withheld $100 for outstanding bills from the months that he had lived I've there. never well, seen a dollar sh sh Just that. a second. Sorry. What bills? I have a garbage bill, a cable bill, and an electric bill. And how much do all of those bills add up to together? They totaled $269.84. Bird, would you show those to the plaintiff, please? Because sure. we're going to get to the crux of this case in a minute. Uh, the previous payment is here and here, and then this is the actual bill from that time Current period. Current bill. Yeah. No, I've seen the bills. I paid him in cash for these bills. I never saw one dollar from the uh, from the deposit. It was three hundred and fifty. I also helped him out for just a, a sec. Just yeah. a second. Hey. You want these? No. I don't want them at all. I'm not getting involved with that. There's one issue in this case, and I'm not getting involved with your 250 and 350 because it was my understanding from reading your complaint, sir, that he did give you some money back from the... No, I never received a dollar from the deposit or the rent that's owed. Uh, basically, I moved out early September with the agreement that when his new roommate moved in, I would receive the money for that okay. rent and also the deposit. Do you have proof that you returned any part of the deposit to him? No, everything was dealt with in cash. Okay. Now... You moved out on what date, sir? It was like September 2nd, between the 2nd Great. and the 5th. No, so I'm not getting involved in it because if you actually believed that he owed you money and there was so much animus, late October, you wouldn't have gone to his house for a house party, which is really the crux of this case, which is the only part of it that I'm dealing with. So okay. let's understand that. If you felt that he owed you prorated rent or some money for security deposit, when you were invited to his home a month later, a month after you moved out, yeah for a party, I would not have gone if I was in an acrimonious situation with somebody. So you went to a party at his house in October. Yes. Now I want you to tell me what happened when you went to the party in October, because that's what this case is about. When I went to the party in October, uh, we, we discussed the deposit and the money's owed. And as you mentioned, I did have some resentment. So you so. shouldn't have gone. Yeah, I really shouldn't have gone. Guaranteed. Right. Okay. You know, he basically got kind of, he got violent with me about it. He pushed me outside the door and then Told locked you to leave. the door. Yeah. Unlocked the door. He locked the door with my okay. keys inside, my Great. car keys inside. So. And keep going. Then I had to pay for a cab to get home. And? And then the next day, he said a bunch of crazy things to our manager that we worked for. I don't know whether he did or not. That's okay. hearsay. Either way, though. Because there's nobody here. Either way, I told I sent him a text message saying, I'm going to take you to small claims on this matter then. I okay. filed. So I gave him the small claims paperwork. I'd like to paperwork. see that text. I don't have the text with me, but I do have this small claims paperwork that Listen I found. to me carefully. Yes. I want to see the text where you said to him, I'm going to small claims court. You say you have a text. You use your phone right there. Uh, yeah, I do not have the text, unfortunately. This is a new phone. You know how yeah. many times I hear people, how did you get a new phone when you lost your job? What you're suing for here is lost wages. When yes. did you get a new phone? It was a very affordable phone, Your Honors. I do have the small claims paperwork Just a second. here. Listen. I'm going to do my drill when I'm satisfied that I'm going to throw you both out. Yes, John. Great.